Now here I've got this actuator set up uh, with about five pounds of pressure. Now it's not on it yet. And you can kind of see that these things uh, top out at about 20 pounds. And uh, the amount of pressure that's in the line going to whatever actuator it is determines how far it goes. When I turn on the pressure, like I said, we're going to get up to about five pounds. Now you can see the actuator come out and it's slowed down. That's about as far out as it's going to go. Okay, when I release that pressure, it just dropped out. That's all, all it is. Uh, it's going to go out depending on how much pressure I put in. It's going to move against the spring depending on how much pressure I put on it. And that's the control. Probably controls a damp or something like that. But it's this fan supply unit. And they're all run by an air compressor. Very effective controls. Okay, next we're going to take this thing apart. I already got the screws out of it. And take a look at what's inside. Pretty simple stuff. Okay, uh, you can see that. Pretty heavy spring on this thing. They need to be actually pretty powerful to move dampers and the like. This is actually the driver. It drives it down right here. Fits in there like that. This is a diaphragm that uh, uh, where you, you can see the hole where the air comes in and the diaphragm actuates. Really, really simple. Actually very dependable. This thing is a good 35 or 40 years old. Uh, looks fine inside. Anyway, that's uh, the last on the uh, actuator, pneumatic actuator.